thank you for joining us. I'm Paula Evan. Here's a WBZ News update. A serial rape suspect just pleaded not guilty to new charges. Matthew Nilo walked out of court after posting $50,000 bail. Prosecutors say in 2007 and 8, he attacked four women in the North End. The 35-year-old had already been charged with four other sexual assaults in Charlestown during that same time period. Lori Pinkham, who says Nilo attacked her in Charlestown, says it was important for her to be there in court today. Somebody has to be here, you know, to say, hold him accountable. You know, I'm not ashamed of what happened. Nothing, I didn't do anything wrong. He, he is disgusting and he, is the one that should be ashamed and I'm going to be here and I'll be a voice for any of the victims that don't want to come just so that I can be here and make sure that he is held accountable. Well, the case heads back to court in September. A flood watch has been issued for parts of New Hampshire. Officials are warning residents and visitors to prepare for potential flooding as more widespread rain is expected tonight. The next round of heavy showers comes as people are still recovering and cleaning up from the previous storm earlier this week that caused major flooding and damage in the Granite State. Officials say if you see flooding, get to higher ground, secure your home and disconnect electrical appliances before the storm. Always avoid driving through flood waters. Five sea turtles that were rehabilitated by the New England Aquarium after they were stranded Stranded last winter during cold stunning season are back walking into warm waters. As you see, the turtles were released off of a Cape Cod beach. Officials say they're in much better health after they were treated for pneumonia, dehydration, low heart rates and weight loss. And as you can see, all five are tagged with satellites so aquarium staff can monitor their progress. Let's get a check of the forecast as we head into another wet weekend. Here's Zach Green. Not a cloud in sight over Boston and most of southern New England is shaping up with all blue sky as well. So definitely a summer way to go into a Thursday afternoon and the temperatures are reflecting that. But it's the heat index that's making it feel real, real warm right now. 87 degrees in Norwood and that seems to be the leader in the clubhouse. Still have an additional time before we see the ultimate highs of the day. Most landing between the low and mid 80s, but the exception is going to be the mid Cape out through Martha's Vineyard. Nantucket's included too and then down into Newport, Rhode Island and pockets of Narragansett. Bay. Reason behind it, we get a southerly wind that's coming out of the bottom of the screen and that's going to allow for a 10 to 15 mile per hour breeze, keeping things just a little bit cooler. But the humidity is still sky high. So if you're thinking about heading towards the beaches at some point during the afternoon, sunblock clearly necessary. Water bottle obviously going to be needed too. And then by the time we make our way into the evening hours, mainly clear skies and we'll start to diminish a bit of that trend. We've got showers well off to our north, once again affecting the Champlain River Valley, just another pocket of New England that it does not need any additional moisture, but we will have excessive rain on tap for tomorrow, which may actually exacerbate and kind of enhance the flooding concern that we had from earlier this week. So today's official highs closing in within a few degrees of 90, with the exception of those around Buzzards Bay, as well as the seacoast of New Hampshire. You may get some of that marine influence too. So the beaches will be the place to be if you want to cool things off, whether you're heading in a boat, you're lucky enough to do so, or you just want to take a walk on the sand. Clear skies will get us towards the evening hours. And if you actually take a look right after the 945 window, we have the International Space Station flying by. So you want to look out from the southwest eventually to the north and east. It's going to be relatively low on the horizon, so it may be a little difficult to see for some folks with maybe a building or two in way, but you definitely want to take a look at that with mainly clear conditions later tonight. But that is also going to spark off the activity for interior spots. 10 p.m. and onwards, we got a strong front that's going to be pushing downpours across the region in a west to east fashion. A lot of that wants to diminish as it goes east of 495, but it's still going to be waking us up in the middle of the night with not only rumble, maybe a clap of thunder. We've got a chance of some steady rain as we wake up tomorrow morning and there's a few more batches right around midday. I think that there is still going to be a lull or at least a break for a portion of the lunchtime hour and by the time we move into the afternoon, we'll just kind of have this ride of energy moving right across the area. So we'll still hold on to some of the light activity for the end of Friday and then another bubble up chance for more isolated cases as we move into the upcoming weekend. That said, it's still going to be producing anywhere from about a half to three quarters of an inch. This generally wouldn't be all that much to contend 
contend with, but with the completely saturated ground and the excessive moisture on the western side of the state where they could see two to possibly three inches, this is going to bring flooding into the conversation once again. Rivers, streams, banks are already full, so they're probably going to have more of that flood over potential as we move out to the Berkshires, Hampton, Franklin, and Hampton County. But once we make our way areas farther north, it's a similar scene too. So obviously a lot of emphasis on Friday, but still for outdoor activities this upcoming weekend, we want to have the umbrella close by Saturday and Sunday. Still some scattered potential. I'm Paula Eben. This has been a WBZ News Update.